Hey everyone, it's Susie from Hay Grill Hay, and I have teamed up with Char Griller and Kingsford to bring you Barbecue 101. Each week, we're gonna bring you barbecue basics to help you become a backyard barbecue hero in no time. Today, we're gonna talk about the necessary equipment that you need to have on hand before you get started. Before we get cooking, you've got to decide what type of grill you would like to be cooking on at home. There are a lot of choices out there, so if you just do a little bit of research, it can help you narrow down what's gonna be the best fit for your backyard. You really wanna focus on how hands-on you wanna be with the cooking process and the type of fuel you'd like to use. Today, I'm cooking on the Smoke and Champ by Char Griller. It has cast iron grates, an adjustable charcoal tray, and the Sidefire box for offset, low and slow barbecue cooking. We're pairing the Smoking Champ with Kingsford Original Charcoal. It gives us consistent burn time and that classic smoky wood-fired flavor. To add additional smoke flavor to your cook, you're going to want some really high quality wood chips or chunks. To light our charcoal, I like to use fire starters and a charcoal chimney, and to protect your hands from the heat during that process, you'll want some nice heat-resistant gloves. Throughout the cooking process, you'll want to stay on top of your temperatures. Monitoring the temperature of the grill using the dome thermometer really lets you know how the cook process is going. An internal digital thermometer will help you get an accurate readout of the food you're cooking to make sure everything's cooked all the way through. You can also use a remote probe thermometer. Some of them have dual inputs, so you can actually track the temperatures of your food and the smoker at the same time. When it comes to barbecue utensils, I actually think you can keep it pretty simple. A good spatula and a great pair of tongs is really all you need to move your food around get things on and off the grill, and manage your charcoal and your heat. Once you've cooked all of that delicious food, it's time to think about cleanup. A really sturdy grill brush goes a long way in keeping those grates clean and ready for the next cook. Make sure your bristles are well secured in whatever grill brush you're using and stay away from metal bristles if you can. Once they're clean, you wanna season your grates to protect them and prepare them for the next cook. I just like to dip some paper towels in some really high heat cooking oil, vegetable oil, avocado oil, and brush them lightly across the top of the grates. With the right grill, the right fuel, and a couple of simple tools, you are well on your way to making better backyard barbecue. 